Hi, Dr. Mark Bond for the Auburn Medical Group, giving you an update on the novel strain of coronavirus identified in China in December of 2019. The disease caused by this virus has now been named COVID-19 for Coronavirus Disease 2019. To summarize briefly, this virus is thought to have started spreading among humans sometime in December 2019 in Wuhan, China. This is likely due to a mutation in an existing coronavirus previously only affecting animals, most likely bats. Other coronavirus outbreaks in recent years include SARS, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, and MERS, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, both of which, like COVID-19, are contagious respiratory illnesses causing fever, cough, and shortness of breath. The COVID-19 spread rapidly, causing hundreds of hospitalizations and a number of deaths. It was not until the disease had already spread to the United States and other countries that a U.S. presidential proclamation was made suspending entry of persons who pose a risk of transmitting the virus. This includes anyone having been in China during the previous 14 days. The CDC also set up guidelines for screening patients at healthcare facilities for COVID-19. This means asking all patients with a fever or respiratory symptoms if they have been in China or if they have been in contact with a known victim of COVID-19 in the previous 14 days. According to a February 12th article in Tropical Medicine and International Health, an investigation of 425 confirmed cases found the number of infected individuals doubling every seven days due to an average incubation of seven days and an average spread of the infection to 2.2 additional people. The current number of 75,000 confirmed cases and 2,100 total deaths adds up to a mortality rate of 2.8%. Now, there are some promising results with some antiviral medications, even in the United States already. These medicines were previously used for Ebola and for SARS and MERS. We also have some development of vaccine occurring with U.S. pharmaceutical manufacturers who previously had worked on this SARS vaccine. This brings you up to the hour COVID-19 situation information. We'll let you know if there's significant developments later on. At this point, I want to thank our channel and Patreon sponsors, specifically Lindsay Antwine, and if you would also like to be a member, please go to the Auburn Medical Group channel on the YouTube and hit the join button. Please also be sure to be subscribed and activate notifications by hitting the bell icon. Until next time, this is Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.